welcome back to my channel we're getting right into your march monthly love reading course let's see what comes out for you i want to thank everyone for participating in the sale uh, you are definitely appreciated we have the ten of wands the two of cups the five of swords with the hierophant taurus your energy is coming right out for the month of march with the six of cups the four of pentacles the eight of swords and temperance in reverse Overall energy is a seven of wands, Taurus. Who not made you put your guard up? Because it's like, you're fed up. You're fed up this month. It's like, the only good things that you have with someone is, there's, is your past memories, the happiness. Or it's like, you're holding on to a connection due to the long term that you had. You could be like friends with benefits or just in a situation to where it's hard, it was hard. It's hard to let that. It's hard to let this person go because there's a strong emotional connection here. But Taurus, I'm seeing that you're fed up. We have the Six of Cups with the Two of Cups. That equals that Eight of Cups. You're no longer holding back. You know, you're walking away. You just feel stuck because it's like emotionally you don't want to leave, right? Your pride and ego is kind of there. You know, you don't want no one else to have this person in a way. But at the same time, Taurus, your energy, you feel this imbalance and you know that it's this person. Oh, there's Eight of Cups. <laughs> Then you know that it's this person, which is why a tire moment is going to hit for you this month. So let's keep going, Taurus. You guys know I'm an average reader, so. <laughs> you know what you got to do. And this could be when this full moon comes in. We are in new moon energy right now. So it's all about new beginnings, right? So you're kind of feeling this energy at the moment, even though this is a full monthly March reading here. Your energy is showing up clear as day. Yeah, new love is trying to manifest, and I feel like you feel this, or you're going to meet new love this month. You're going to give this relationship a chance here. For some of you, you're not going to let this emotional connection go, but but you're going to keep your options open. So let go with the situation, control issues, let the situation unfold naturally. We also have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and your spiritual path. So it's like, you know... You, this goes to be in a balance through, like, with religion here, with, with why we, that religious factors. It is Ash Wednesday. Um, so that could be in relevance. This could be kind of what's bringing up an argument um, versus your religion here. This could be what's creating that time moment. Like, I can't be with someone long term if they don't um, have my values and religion. This could also be the Six of Cups energy to, to where it's like you guys are in love. You're talking about children and this person wants to raise their child on a different religion. Like that's gonna, like you're really feeling the vibe of this person this month and then something like that is gonna hit where it's like I'm stuck on whether I should walk away. It's something that traditional and I, and I think it is. Yeah, because higher friends in that marriage card too. You, you, see, you're, see, yeah, you see yourself marrying this person but you're stuck which is probably why I'm stumbling over my words towards we have the Queen of Wands. Yeah. It's hard for you to let go. You're you're looking back. So we didn't leave with the Leo. This Leo is uh is struggling to let you go. They're kind of feeling overwhelmed at the moment, is what I'm oh, is what I'm getting at. Yeah, and there's that Leo energy again with the sun card. Oh my goodness, why what am I doing? Why are these cards? <laughs> oh, that's why. All right. We have the eight of pentacles, the four and the nine of pentacles in reverse. This person is not going to let you go. They are holding on for dear freaking life, Taurus. There's your energy. <laughs> they are holding on to dear life. How else are they feeling? Wow, that just flipped like that. We have acts, act, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. So this unconditional love here. We have lightning, sudden sh change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. When a transformation is like you're, you're like, you know what, I'm fed up. I ain't, I'm not going to keep arguing with, arguing, arguing with you for some of you here. Because a lot of you have been hooking up with someone for a while. And it's like you want love. You want more than that. So it's like I'm going to leave and get this new love. And it's going to be shocking. Yeah, because I'm no longer like I'm putting up a fight. I'm walking out the door. So you got one more chance to make it right or I'm out. So Taurus, that's your energy. It's like you gave up the effort. Yeah. I will not be strong alone. Because we have the Ace of Wands in reverse with the Page of Pentacles. You no longer want to give until, you know, uh, benefits of a friendship or situation. And you will not be strong alone. Yeah, it's passionate. This is a very passionate energy where it's like you want more. So Spirit is saying that you have to end this. This person can't give you what you want. They're going to keep being in this Three of Cups energy, having fun, going with the flow. So your new sitter could be a Scorpio. 
Taurus, but you got to let this old connection go so that temperance can come in and actually balance things out. Your new person could be a Sagittarius or a Capricorn. You have to stop the stuff seeing looking over the past here. Definitely talk to someone if you can. A trusted friend is what I'm getting. Work out. Do something to um, get your mind clear. If you paint for some of you, I'm getting. Meditate, yoga. There's that Pisces energy. Yeah, so Pisces season for the month of March is that you can have what you want. Because you're awakening. You're kind of going through a shift yourself. Whereas, like, I'm no longer dealing with toxic bullshit. I'm divine feminine, and I'm going to get the ace of wands that I want. So it's like, I'm not worried about you. Uh, what do you need to focus on for the month of March? For my color, <laughs> Recovery, yeah, for some of you resting from this, this could be an ending, you know, because you're going to be hurt. Like for some of you, you're going to be hurt. There was an emotional bond, it needs to go, you need to break up here. So it takes time to recover, don't rush love. Get more information and abundance. I want to see what this get more information is about. What does? What do you mean? Get more information before you think about breaking up. <laughs> why? If you're dealing with a Virgo, why? This Virgo is going to make it right in my your energy. All right. Fire, this fire sign is going to make it up. In, okay. So, again, Spirit is just saying be cautious because this is a collective reading. So, I'm reading for a lot of Taurus energy here. So if you're dealing with another earth sign, get more information before you let this go. If you're dealing with a Libra or specifically a Leo and Sagittarius, that's strong energy that's been popping up. Get more information because this person is going to step up to the plate and match you. <laughs> let me dig deeper here because that I never had like, oh, yeah, I have released strictly sexual. Okay. What's going on in this situation right here? Interference, a third party is intruding on your relationship. Yeah, I don't know if someone is sabotaging this energy. You might know who the third party is. They're not their person is picking your person is picking up on this. We got time apart, some distance will help bring clarity and that passion that's there. Yeah, true love's already a part of your side of your life. So I feel like this time apart is gonna make this person step up to the plate. The Knight of Pentacles is definitely what you want here. This King of Wands energy, yeah, you're still very much attracted to this person. We have the Queen and the King of Wands, but at the same time, the Knight of Pentacles is here showing us that this person wants to bring in um, stability and actually methodically plan out your future, right? So take it how it resonates. Readings like this, I always urge you, you know, have tarot reader or get personal readings from me because you have to see if this reading pertains to you. So take it how it resonates, all right? We have... Okay, a lot of cards went to come out <laughs> um, in this. I was trying to clarify the magician and seven of wands here. Yeah, I feel like you're just no longer wanting to be emotionally manipulated for some of you. There's that third party interference. Not even my love. See, it's it's like someone there's someone that you're dealing with is very, very slick. They're very, very slick and they always try to keep you down. They always try to keep you in a confused place, keep you second guessing for this person. This energy is what I'm getting. Yeah. This rejection is actually divine protection. This new love here, focus on yourself, self worth, self love, time to heal. We do have that in conjunction with recovery. If I can grab it. Yeah. Wedding rings. Yeah, this new love can definitely last. Marriage here. Clarify your energy with the Hierophant. Taurus, yeah, it's time for you to walk away from the past. It's gonna, yeah, it's gonna hurt. This King of Swords just couldn't give you what you wanted. Like, I mean, it could give you what you wanted at the time, you know, it giving you a lot of what you wanted, but it's like your feelings are growing and you want something more than just passion and intimacy. You want love. So, go into her mode for a few weeks, go within here, recover because your Emperor is coming in. There's that Aries, there's a the fire sign. Um, follow your intuition when this person comes in. You're going to feel this energy right away. It's going to be love of your life. Curious energy, so don't feel disappointed and hopeful this month when it comes to love here. Yeah, use this new moon energy to write down your new start. You know, you got to remember every day is different, right? We go from March, I don't even know, March 2nd, 2022. I don't even know what day it is, y'all. My brain is a lot crazy. But what I'm saying is you go from March 2nd to March 3rd. Like every day is different. So 
and it's never going to be the same again. So you, you don't want to waste your whole day being angry about something that you're th over fantasizing, overthinking about, drinking, indulging of, because this person can't give you the emotions that you want. You're going to get exactly what you want from somebody else that's meant for you. And what's ending here is that this person is a, is a beautiful soulmate energy. Like I'm saying, they're going to match your empress to the emperor, your queen of cups to your king of cups, the queen of wands to the king of wands. This is marriage. This is fulfillment. This is love. The Nine of Cups with the Ten of Cups, this was meant to happen this way, Taurus. This was, this was a beautiful ending here, if you're still with me, because, wow, this is going to be beautiful here. We have, it's important right now to take a step back, yeah, and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself, because this is coming in fast. Once, once you do, once you do, friendship is, yeah. It's going to be a very friendly vibe. It's going to be, a, you know, it's your soulmate. It's your best friend. It's everything. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve towards, all right? I'm going to leave it there, guys, and have a wonderful week.